Hello everyone, in this high yielding clinical pathology case number 3, we have a case of a 41 year old male who is a smoker and he is having lung mass and he is given clinical finding and microscopic finding. So this is the clinical finding, this is the microscopic finding, these are the two microscopic finding and you have to tell me about your findings, diagnosis, markers and prognosis. So that was the question which I have posted on my Instagram. So what I will tell you here, clinical finding in this case, if you look at the face, he is having moon faces, right? So moon faces and there is a truncal obesity or central obesity. So these are the findings of the Cushing syndrome. And this Cushing syndrome is because of lung mass is given. So probably it is a cancer of lung. So which cancer of lung will be associated with this Cushing syndrome? And this will be called as ectopic Cushing syndrome, which will be associated with a small cell cancer of the lung. So please remember it can be a small cell cancer of the lung or most commonly if examiner ask you most commonly they are associated with carcinoid also right so please remember this is a very important thing because previously it was a small cell but now this is the recent update which you should remember that this is the update that carcinoid is most commonly associated with ectopic cushing syndrome ectopic cushing syndrome right so ectopic cushing syndrome is because of ectopic acth production what will be the presentation of the patient as I have shown you here? He will be having moon faces, central obesity and apart from that when you will see other examination you will see hypokalemia, proximal muscle weakness, easy bruisability, hypertension, he will be having diabetes, psychiatric abnormalities in the form of depression or mood disorders, right? And remember this ectopic Cushing syndrome is associated with a small cell cancer of lung but if examiner says most commonly they are associated with answer should be carcinoid. Right. Let us see what will the what is the microscopic finding. Microscopic finding you can see all these small small areas which you are seeing blue in color. These are all blood vessels. Right. Suppose I am taking you this example of this blood vessel. Right. And if I am drawing here, so you can see blood vessel wall should be red in color. But in this small cell cancer of the lung, chromatins are very delicate and they will leak outside. So when this chromatin will leak outside, what will happen? they will be get deposited onto the vessel wall right so this chromatin deposition i have shown you on this vessel wall and the same thing you are seeing here also blue color is the actually vessel wall with lots of chromatin so what is this called as this is known as azopardi effect so that is very important point to remember that a small cell cancer of lung that a small cell cancer of lung is associated with azopardi effect and what is azopardi effect azopardi effect is a basophilic staining of vessel wall right so as you are seeing is basophilic staining of vessel wall another important interesting finding you can notice here these are all small round blue cell tumor because the name of tumor is also small cell cancer of lung because tumor cells are small round and they're blue because cytoplasm is scanty and nucleus is bigger in amount right now, if you see this one, this uh, microscopy was the cytological picture of the small cell cancer of lung. And in this two cells, which I had marked here, you can notice, I am showing you important finding here that the nuclear finding, which is very prominently visible here, that is called as fine stippling of the chromatin. Remember, fine stippling of the chromatin is a very characteristic feature of not only the small cell cancer of the lung, it is for all the neuroendocrine tumor. Please remember, all the neuroendocrine tumor like small cell cancer in this case, carcinoid, pheochromocytoma, neuroblastoma, all will have this fine stippling of the chromatin. And this fine stippling of chromatin is also known as salt paper nuclear chromatin. So salt paper nuclear chromatin is also a feature of any neuroendocrine tumor and a small cell cancer is also a neuroendocrine tumor. Apart from that, which is not visible here, on microscopy, uh, you can see them on electron microscopy, not on light microscopy on cytology. That is the neurosecretory granules. And these neurosecretory granules are container of the marker of the neuroendocrine tumor, which I will tell you later on. Right. Second important feature you can see here. All these are nucleus. All these are nucleus which are prominently visible. You can see the edges of nucleus are pushing the another nuclei. Right. And this when one nucleus is pushing edges of the nucleus to the other side or putting impression 
right so that is called as nuclear molding that is very very important point nuclear molding is again a very important neat pg question it is characteristically seen in a small cell cancer of the lung so this is the nuclear molding where you can see one nucleus is putting impression on the another nucleus right so see that border of the nucleus is putting impression border of the nucleus is putting impression on the other nuclei that is called as nuclear molding which is seen in a small cell cancer of lung now coming to the last part what is important here to notice as i have said neurosecretory granules they will contain the isc markers so what are the markers you will see here chromogranin and synaptophysin so these are the commonly asked question in exam chromogranin and synaptophysin apart from that you must know the update which has been given in robin's 10th edition is cd 56 and 57 so there are four important markers you should remember for any neuroendocrine tumor is a chromogranin synaptophysin cd 56 and 57 because of the neural component and endocrine component remember because of the endocrine component whenever you compare non-endocrine tumor versus endocrine tumor endocrine tumors will always have worse prognosis because of the dissemination of the uh, you know uh, hormones from these tumor cells as you have seen here also that ectopic ACTH was there so that will be having worse prognosis that will be having worse prognosis because of the endocrinal nature the stent organ will be damaged simultaneously by them so keep learning about these clinical pathology cases which will be extremely helpful for your upcoming exam and my best wishes to all of you